Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, last sub module for module five. Overarching theme of our talk was about an education intervention that helps someone do better in school in less amount of time. And the intervention is designed by yourself. It's not something that someone is uh, asking you to do, but you are creating it for yourself so you know it better and you apply it in a better fashion. Here I'd like to mention a quote by Buddha, Gautam Buddha about creating your own and walking your own path. So a translation of what Gautam Buddha said is, do not believe in anything simply because you have heard it, not simply because it's, it was spoken and rumored by many, do not believe in anything because it's found written in a religious book. Do not believe in anything just because of the authority of your teachers and elders. Do not believe in traditions because they have been handed down for many generations. But after observation and analysis, many find that anything agrees with reason and is conducive to good and benefit of one and all, then accept it and live up to it. So as you know, it's all about walking your own path and deciding what works for you and following what has positive effects. How would you like to do things? So ask yourself and maybe write down what relaxing activities do you prefer? How would you like to organize your desk and surroundings? Uh, yoga and stretching may not be for everyone. Someone may like to just go for a run every day. Someone may like to go and uh, bike around a nearby park because running is not for them. So what activities do you like? How would you like to organize your desk and surroundings? Some people say, oh, I like it very clean. I just want things I'm working on on, on my desk. Or someone may like to have everything on their desk, things that inspire them. Someone might like plants around their desk and uh, someone may like to smell it in a particular fashion. And uh, you may like to arrange your desk in a way so that it creates a very chill and a very enjoyable environment. Another question is, what do you like to study? Of course, if you take up courses, just because it's a requirement for a major, you may not really enjoy it, but you focus on courses that you can really enjoy and study something and you can progress that way. Eventually, to tell you the truth, if, the, if employers ever look for GPAs, they will, be looking, they will probably not be looking at what exact courses you took, but what GPA you got. And that is more important. Another question is, what times are good for you to hang out or study in a group? And you have to make note of those times and then make sure that your study group is available during the, those times. And the last question is, what kind of silence or music are you okay with while studying? So what are your preferences? Do you like instrumental or do you like uh, listen to what kind of instrumental music you like, things like that. Or if you don't like any music at all and study in silence, don't just listen to something because it's popular, but see if it's really useful to you. Uh, there are a lot of uh, music out there that give you binaural beats or even some music channels say that they have music with uh, a lot of uh, good frequencies that help you study, but does it really work for you? Experiment it with it and see if it really helps. Or if it doesn't, discard it. Don't keep it in your schedule. So I found some quotes from Oscar Wilde on pleasure and pain in which uh, he speaks about know how to pursue pleasure, you know, and Few other things he uh, speaks about circumstances occur in which toil and pain can procure someone great pleasure. 
well uh, let's think about something if i tell you that you have to watch your favorite sitcom or web series for next four or five hours you can easily go and do that but if i say hey you have to go and study for next four or five hours without taking a break can you do that why because watching a sitcom or web series is an enjoyable experience same is with messaging friends or uh, watching binge watching youtube videos things like that but again it doesn't really help you do better in your courses because it takes away the very important time you could have put towards your studies so definitely studying is it seems little bit of uh, work and uh, it's it may appear to be a little uh, painful but it's something that helps you moving forward so of course you have to find a balance between things and actually another thing is you have to think of ways you can make your studies enjoyable and uh, find pleasure in it you can speak with your friends sometimes they have they ever felt uh have they ever felt a good feeling because of scoring well in courses you will find that there is a an enjoyable experience that can be gained by simply understanding a new material and understanding things in a better fashion so here is a quote i came up with for all of you which is write write and write make your future bright read what you write don't just write write and write revise what you write else it won't take a flight so you may have really big goals and big dreams you want to go out and do great things out there in the world but if you make your plans and schedules in such a way that it helps you get there in order for your goals to be realized it is necessary that you keep on reading and revising what you have been writing and adjusting things based on what has come up thank you very much i hope you enjoy this talk and i hope this helps you improve your studying and learning techniques thank you